Um, I'm here to talk about the bane of the existence of the traveling salesperson. And the bane of our existence is the office day. Now, in the wake of the coronavirus, um, we are forced to have five of these things in a row every week until, well, we don't know when until. And there are strategies that can help you all be entirely more successful on your office days. And these are tried and true. And I will tell you, I've been implementing them in my first four days of quarantine. And so I'll share some of those with you. So before I leave every office day, I set a plan for the next day. Not the first time you've heard of it, but it really, really helps to build that tactical list. Who are the eight or 10 or 15 or 20 people you need to call tomorrow? Number one. Number two, what are the six or eight activities that you want to get done tomorrow? Um, I need to get on WebEx and figure out how to use it more effectively. Um, I need to organize my briefcase. I need to put together four or five presentations for the future WebExes that I'm going to be doing, etc. But set those things up. So who are you going to call? What are the things you're going to do? And then number three, and this is probably the most important, is set a goal for yourself in terms of what you need to sell every day. It's going to be a little bit different than we used to do when we we're out on the road and traveling and, and doing different um, meetings like that. But set a goal for yourself. I'd like to accomplish these three things and get this much product sold or this much stuff moved by the end of the day. I recognize, you recognize, everyone recognizes things are moving slowly these days, but it's not going to last that much longer, meaning people recognize that stuff has to be sold and stuff has to be bought. Um, so no matter what you sell, it's important to put some type of goal on yourself each day to try and get something sold. Okay, so first thing is before you leave your office day, make sure you set a tactical list on what you want to do the next day. The second thing that we're going to suggest that you do is build time blocks. I recognize what you just said in your own brain. I've used them in the past. They don't work for me. Or you don't get my brain. My brain's active. I'm a traveling salesperson. Um, I can't stay focused on, on, a, in a, on a time block for any given period of time. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but time blocks do work and they're so important for us as we work through our office days um, on a continued basis until, again, we, we don't know when it's going to end. So three strategies to use on your time blocks. One is make sure that they last no more than 30 minutes. Traditionally, the human brain allows for about 90 minutes of a successful time block. Most people try and put, put three, four, five, six, ten 10 hour time blocks together. They're not successful. They definitely don't work for most people and in particular for traveling salespeople. We wanna keep these things down to about 30 minutes at a time. That's number one. Number two, we wanna load those time blocks with the highest priority activities when we are at our best. So if you're more of a morning person, make sure you're doing your highest priority activities, meaning picking up the phone and calling people during the morning. If you're an afternoon person or a late afternoon person, make sure you're doing your highest priority activities at those times. And then third thing, and this is the most important part about time blocks, is give yourself rewards. Once you hit your 30 minute time block, stop, shut everything down, go have a bowl of cereal, watch Sports Center, watch Food Network, whatever you love to do, take a walk around the block, do whatever you love to do and give yourself that reward. Don't do another thing, completely disengage. And once you're done with that reward period of time, 15 minutes or whatever it happens to be, then get back into your next time block. Last thing for successful office days is make sure before you leave, you set your plan for the next day. Now you'll say, Colin, wasn't that point number one that you took? It is. In other words, I'm emphasizing the importance of point one and three. As long as you have a plan when you're in there, you will be so much more successful than 99% of the people who are doing what you're doing every day. And then take that even one step further, put those time blocks in there, in particular those shorter time blocks, 15 or 30 minutes at a time, with those strategies that we suggested, and you'll be thrilled with the results that you have going forward.